Okay, Jason. Okay, next one is 2x squared plus 4x minus 7 is equal to 0. And then they say leave the answer mm -hmm. in simplified third form. Now, okay, that immediately that tells you that you are not going to be able to factorize this. Yeah. All right, so, so don't even try and factorize form, because you what, won't be able to do it. What does that really mean? A third is like a square root. You know, you know if I give that to you, that's called a third. Yeah. Okay, so when they say simplified, right. must it have a square root over it, or? Well, if or it doesn't have it a square root over it, it's no longer a third. Okay. Well, okay. Then I think let's 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 backtrack a few steps. Let's backtrack a few steps, Jason. What is okay. the formula? Give me the formula. Uh, x is equal to. Uh, minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Alright. So you see there's a square root. Yeah. But when you get to the so end of your answer, mm -hmm. um, when, when you get to the end of your answer, you can work it out on a calculator and then you come out with a yeah, but you, know, you don't. Something point you don't. something. Because they specifically asked you to just leave it in simplified third form. Hello? Okay, so you can work it out with a calculator, but you don't. Okay. Is, is that because they asked for it in, a, in simplified third form? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay, All right. So now well, take me through the next couple of steps. Okay. Uh, and you say x is equal to negative four, or well, four in a bracket, plus minus the square root of four squared minus four. Open bracket, open bracket two, close bracket, uh, open bracket minus seven, close bracket, over two uh, times two. Right, and then. simplify everything. So on the top line it's you fine. can leave the Go minus for it. 4 plus minus and then you say the square root of 16 minus uh, hold on what did I say? Uh, I said 16 plus 56 mm -hmm. uh, over 4 And, uh, well, okay, then I simplified it again just a little to make it easier. I said minus 4 plus minus the square root of 72 over 4. Okay, so now your next line would be the following, and then you're done. Put it like that, or you uh, can leave you it. Uh, sorry, no, 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 not not that. Sorry. Yeah, you you just say plus on the yeah, just plus on the one side, and then you yeah. say or, and then the negative yeah. Okay, and that's it. Okay, Do you know where I got well, this one from? That right. Uh, yeah, you divided three by four. Yeah, it's basically just that. 
4 divided by 4 is 1. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but Harry, you see, I went one step further. I actually punched it in on the calculator and got an answer. Um, would they mark that wrong? Then they will mark it wrong, Jason. Yeah. They would. Oh, okay, because, yeah, it's a good... Because the All instructions right. specifically said leave it in simplified cert form. But, now the question is, is this in simplified cert form? Uh, That's the million dollar question. Simplify. Okay, well, you showed me in the beginning that it's a uh, cert form has got a square root. Yeah, that so is in cert form. I but is it in simplified cert form? That's the question. Mm. If you take a look at something like the square root of 18. All right, now you need yeah. to remember one thing about square roots. All right, it, it, what I'm going to say to you now only works for multiplication and division, not for plus and minus. You can say the square root of 18 is the same as the square root of 9 times 2, which is the same as the square root of 9 times by the square root of 2. Right, you can split the roots. So the, the root okay. of the product is the same as the product of the roots. And the same will go for division, not for plus and minus. Okay, so what you're telling me, is, what you're telling me is, so then you'd say, uh, okay, so then could you say minus four, minus. Now before you get there, Jason, just take a look at what I've done there. Okay. Okay, so then what you did was you. I took a you factor took out of 18, which has its own nice square root. Okay, and then you, and then, whoa. Okay, all right, I see what you did, but I, I actually, I don't know. So let's do try and do the same for 72. Okay, so then square you could root say of 72. Times you could say 6 times 12. But uh, neither 6 nor 12 has its own nice square root. Good job. Okay. Mm. Six. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I see. Alright, so that will then become the square say. root of 36 times by the square root of 2, which is... Uh, so then you'd say, could you say 6 square root 2? Yes. Now, if we go back to what we had there, all right, let's write this down in the following way. We have minus 4 plus 6 square root 2 over over four. Now you can simplify it by saying it's minus one plus three over two square root two. Do you agree with me? Yeah, yeah. Wait, the three over two? Six over four. You need to use the four twice. Oh, remember? okay, all right. Oh, once yeah. for that okay, number and once for that number. And the other one would then just be minus 1 minus 3 over 2 square root 2. Okay, alright.